we can't live the Christian life, a supernatural life, in the natural. We simply don't have the strength. The, the only way to live that life is to let Christ live his life through us. Now, I'd like to try to illustrate that. This illustration I'm going to use is, is so simple, it's almost embarrassing, and I almost chucked it three times, but I'm going to go ahead and try it anyway. I have here with me a glove. Okay, it's, it's, a, it's a work glove. It's well made, it's got leather and Velcro, it's tightly stitched together. This glove is designed for work. It's made to lift and carry, so it ought to be able to do some work. So I say to that glove, glove, pick up that Bible. It doesn't do anything. Well, may maybe what that glove needs is some, some encouragement, some inspiration. <laughs> Come on, glove, you can do it. You were made to pick up that book. Well, there's nothing. Maybe the glove needs some, some training, it needs to be discipled. So I'm going to do some one-on-one -on -one here and say, come on, you know, you put your thumb and fingers together and there's still nothing. Maybe what the glove needs is some fellowship. You know, get some other gloves hanging around them and, and maybe get the hang of it. We'll make it a multicultural fellowship here and just, there's still nothing. You know what I think? I think this glove needs to make a commitment. It needs to rededicate itself to being a glove. Raise a hand and come forward and get baptized or something. Now you get the point, it's painfully obvious at this point. Even though that glove was designed for work, it can't do work until a living hand fills every part of it and does its work through the glove. And that's how the Christian life works. We are not able to live the supernatural life of God in our own strength. Now, we have the capacity for it. We were made for it. But we don't have the power for it because of our fallen human condition. The, the, only way to live that life is to let Christ live his life through us. And he does that through his Holy Spirit. 